Hey folks, Garrett Monroe here from Tech and Trek. I'm creating this video to show you how to create a new page on your ePortfolio. So I'm working from my iPad, and anytime we work with the ePortfolio, we want to be sure we're using the Chrome browser. So I'm going to start there, and then I'm going to navigate to our Moodle homepage, which can be accessed at online.hiram.edu. And from here, you want to go to whatever course you're operating in for your ePortfolio. Um, and select it and then find the ePortfolio link. There's another way to do this, which is through the Hiram Tech Resources 101 card up here in the upper right. This is always here when you get into Moodle. So I'm gonna show you that way now. I'm gonna jump into Hiram Tech 101, and then I just wanna highlight that we have this section two built out dedicated to ePortfolio support. So I'm gonna go down there to ePortfolios. There's a bunch of video walkthroughs here. It's already, already set up. Uh, and some other documentation. There's also a link here for you to access your ePortfolio at any time, even if you're not in a course that's using the ePortfolio. So I'm gonna select that now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find my ePortfolio. So I'm gonna go ahead and select show all my ePortfolios, this little blue button. And here I can see all the ePortfolios I've built. Now you may have multiple ePortfolios if you've created a, a, one, a special one for a course, but generally you'll be working from your your, core, your connections ePortfolio, your four-year ePortfolio. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one as a demo. So now I'm in my ePortfolio, and what I wanna do is edit this section, this header section, which includes our web page menu. And so in the upper right, there's a padlock icon here, which is what we need to tap to unlock and edit our header section. So I've tapped the lock icon. Now I come down here and I tap on the, the page menu and it opens up this three button menu including this pen and paper at the top which is edit. I'm going to tap on edit. Now it's going to open up a list of all my web pages on my ePortfolio. From here I can delete them, adjust settings, I can create new ones, and I can turn them into sub pages. If you scroll down to the bottom it should show this add new page button in blue. So if you type, if you select add new page it opens up a blank space to type and you can begin typing out the title of your new page. So I can just click Save, and it says, takes me back to my home page. Your savings have been, your changes have been saved. Now I can select on my page menu, go down, and I can see Indeed, my new page is an option here in the menu. So it's that simple. Make sure after you, you create any changes, as always, you select Publish Changes. Feel free to contact me. My email is at the top of this ePortfolio, monroegr.harm.edu, if you have any questions. Thank you.